Hey there, handy friends. Tonight, I'm gonna be showing you how we make this worm bin for $90. Stick with me. The drill bits you will be needing for this project will be one and one quarter inch hole saw drill bit or one and one quarter inch spade drill bit and you will need a half inch and quarter inch round drill bit. You will also be needing three 10 gallon Rubbermaid Roughneck storage totes, dark in color preferably. I got these for $10 a piece at Target. Here's the spigot from Amazon. Again, this is optional. You don't really need it, but sometimes it might come in handy if you wanna add water to your leachate. Let's not forget the red wigglers. I got 250 red wiggler worms from Uncle Jim's farm on Amazon. The Burpee organic seed starting mix is purchased for the bedding. Make sure you check out my previous YouTube videos and how to add bedding to your worm farm so you can understand how the coconut core is used. Now let's add up all of our prices. 10 gallon Rubbermaid totes three at $10 a piece came to $30. The rain barrel spigot came to $17. The red wigglers came to $38. The coconut core is $3. And the rest of the stuff we just happened to have on our homestead, so we had that all for free. We're gonna call this bin number one, and this is gonna be the worm home. So all of the composting is gonna take place in this tote. This is gonna be the most used tote, the middle bin. Here I have a quarter inch drill bit in one of the holes to represent the size of the hole is a quarter inch drill bit and they're approximately eight inches apart. There's 12 holes in this top. It is the same size drill bit for this entire bin. And what we did was we spaced our um, holes out just enough to where basically your worms need ventilation. And so that's why there's holes all through. There's around 22 holes in the bottom and there's two, four, six, eight, ten holes along both long sides and then there's two, four, six along each smaller side. Bin number two is our drainage bin for leachate. And what leachate is, is basically the worm pee, worm secretion. For this bin, there's only gonna be one hole and this is where we are gonna use these drill bits. Now again, if you don't have one of these, you can use your largest regular drill bit and just widen out the hole or very carefully use a razor blade. The only hole in this bin is going to be for the spout. This is a rain barrel spout. It's a three quarter inch rain barrel spout. And we got this on Amazon. I'll be putting all the supplies below where I got them and how much they cost. Bin number three is the least used bin and I don't always use this bin to harvest my worms. Make sure you check out some of my other worm videos as I have harvested my worm castings in five different ways on film so far. Bin number three takes a half inch drill bit. This is the bin that we use to harvest our worm castings. So there's no holes in the top. And then half inch holes in the bottom and quite a few because what we want here is we want our worms to come up from the middle bin, so bin number two, to this bin, bin number three. And so this bin cradles in the top bin, and we usually just use the top for that. Let me show you. Now, you never wanna have your worm farm on the ground, so we store ours on a cinder block in our basement, but this old table works while it's outside, and if you're gonna store yours outside, you don't want to have these open holes on top because that will give you way too much moisture. So that's when you might use the other top without holes in it. So I wanted to give you a quick review of the price over for our worm farm supplies. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. It's super easy to do worm farming and they are very beneficial 
for your gardening. Now that's how you make a $90 worm bin right there. If you enjoy worm farming like I do, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and stay handy friends.